Hey Kid Step Friends! Welcome back to our series called Renew. This series is all about looking through the book of Psalms together as we look at the different ways that Jesus renews us from the inside out. The first week, we looked at Psalm chapter 1 and 2 together, and we were reminded how important it is to meditate on God's Word. Meditating on God's Word just means reading it, soaking it in, learning to love it. And we looked at those and we were challenged just to continue to be kids who are in God's Word often. The more that we are in God's word, the more that we become to know who Jesus is and know who we are because of that. Week two, we looked at Psalm 23 together. Psalm 23 um, was a very familiar psalm for many of us. Um, but what we were reminded of was that a lot of the psalms are David's prayer journal. David wrote to God when he was happy and when he was sad. He wrote to God when he was nervous and afraid. He wrote to God when he was angry and frustrated. And we were reminded that we can talk to God about anything, anytime. All of those big, big feelings that we're feeling, God wants us to go to him with them. Week three, we looked at Psalm 56, which was just last week. And we looked together at how David reminds us that even when we're afraid, we can put our trust in Jesus. So this week, we are in Psalm 27 together. Hopefully you've had a chance to read it already with your family. If not, no worries. We can read it at the end of the um, video together. But we're going to actually see here in Psalm 27, um, David's a reminder for us that no matter what happens in this life, and let's be honest, life is an adventure. It is full of twists and turns and ups and downs, really fun things and really hard things, right? It's an adventure. But no matter what happens in that adventure, we get to choose to be courageous. We get to choose to have courage to take risks because we know that following Jesus is worth it. So we're going to actually read a um, parable together. And a parable is a way that Jesus told stories when he was here on earth. So if you have your Bible, go ahead, open it up. We're going to go to Matthew chapter 25. Matthew chapter 25, and we're going to start in verse 14 and read this parable together. So go ahead, turn there and read along as I read. Again, Matthew chapter 25, verse 14. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one, he gave five bags of gold, to another, two bags, and to another, one bag, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. The man who had received five bags of gold went at once and put his money to work and gained five more bags. So, also, the one with two bags of gold gained two more. But the man who received one bag went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants returned and settled accounts with them. The man who had received five bags of gold brought the other five. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five bags of gold. See, I have gained five more. His master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. The man with two bags of gold also came. Master, he said, You entrusted me with two bags of gold. See, I have gained two more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Then the man who had received one bag of gold came. Master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid and went out and hid your gold in the ground. 
See, here is what belongs to you. His master replied, You wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I harvest where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed? Well, then you should have put my money on deposit with the bankers so that when I returned, I would have received it back with interest. So take the bag of gold from him and give it to the one who has 10 bags. For whoever has will be given more and they will have abundance. Whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them and throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Well, that story didn't end very happy, did it? No, but what did we learn from that story? We saw three servants, right, and a master. And the master gave one servant five bags of gold. He gave one servant two bags of gold, and he gave one servant just one bag of gold. And so each of the servants had a choice. They had a choice that they could be courageous and take that money and invest it or to make more money with it, or they could choose fear and hide it underground so that nothing would happen to it, but it wouldn't grow and it wouldn't, it would, you wouldn't lose it either, right? But the two that went and invested it with and made more money with, with it, that is what the master celebrated. And he praised them for it because they took that risk. They were courageous, right? And so Jesus was using this story to help show that sometimes in life we have to take risks. We have to be courageous. Maybe it's being courageous when we um, reach out to a girl who is on the playground playing by herself. And we invite her to join us and play with us. Maybe it's when we see a boy sitting all alone in the cafeteria. And being courageous means going over and inviting him to come join your table. Maybe it's on the school bus or the soccer field. Maybe it's online, right? There are lots of opportunities that we have to choose to be courageous and be a, take a little bit of a risk to be able to grow in our relationship with others, to help serve others, to grow in our relationship with Jesus, right? So that Psalm 27, as we read it, we're just reminded that we get to choose to have courage. We get to choose to have courage. And so friends, I pray that we are kids who continue to choose courage on this crazy adventure that we call life. Before you go, I would love for you to check out this fun video of our Bible story.